Yesterday, Africa's largest show, the Johannesburg International Motor Show, or GYMS, last held in 2011, opened its doors to the public at the Nazareth Expo Centre. Many of the cars filling its four massive halls having come straight from the Frankfurt Motor Show last month. On Wednesday and Thursday, the country's motoring media were offered an exclusive first peek at the gleaming metal on display. 25 manufacturers pulled out all the stops to showcase their existing production models and concept cars and unveil the models they'll be introducing to the South African market in the coming months. One by one, the covers were whipped off, some by fancy hoists and others the traditional way by the hands of the resident eye candy. There was everything from dramatic smoke to dazzling lighting, pounding rock music, opera singers, dancers and even an airborne violinist. Armed with notebook and iPhone, I captured the highlights. Here's a taste. As with the Frankfurt show, there was a strong green theme running through the stands this year. Many petrol-electric hybrids already on the market were on display, along with several all-electric cars or EVs, which have yet to be launched, most notably BMW's showstopper, the little i3, as well as its high-performance stablemate, the i8. The i3 will go on sale in South Africa in mid-2014 with a price tag of around 450,000 Rand. No, they don't come cheap. VW unveiled its gorgeous little four-seater EV called EAP, which can cover 160 kilometers on a single charge, and the showstopper of its stand was the plug-in hybrid concept SUV, the Cross Coupe. It's powered by two electric motors and a turbocharged petrol engine, and has a staggeringly low fuel consumption, just 1.8 liters per 100 k's. Of course, Nissan's claim to fame is that it was the first manufacturer to mass-produce an EV. The LEAF was officially launched to the South African market at the show. A couple of the completely silent and cars are shuttling show visitors about from hall to hall from designated pickup points, using the Hooter a lot to warn pedestrians. It comes with a price tag of 446000 but its running cost is around 80% less than a car that runs on fuel. Moving on from the greenies, for me the biggest wow of the show was the launch of the much-anticipated new Range Rover Sport. 420 kilograms lighter than the old model, stronger, safer and more fuel efficient and gorgeous too, of course. Somebody called it a manly evoke. The media pretty much mobbed the stand. It goes on sale in South Africa, next month. Other cars making a big impact was the 11th generation of South Africa's favourite car, the Toyota Torola, which was launched at the show. It will be made right here in Prospecton and go on sale in the first quarter of 2014, and it's quite a dramatic departure from its predecessor. The car which caused quite a buzz at the General Motors stand was the little Opel Adam, named after Opel's founder, Adam Opel. It's Opel's first trendy small urban car, packed with high-tech features, loads of personalization options and smart connections. For those who love the Mini Cooper vibe but can't afford it, this one could well be for you. It's due here sometime next year. Hogging the attention at Chinese car maker FAW stand was another smallish hatch but for different reasons. The 1.3 litre FAW V2 has got aircon, power steering, dual airbags, mag wheels, a full side spare, side impact bars and a two year service plan on top of a three year warranty all for a few cents under 100,000 rand, making it the cheapest car on the show. It goes on sale next month. The MG will be launching what it calls a trend the ultra safe super mini, the MG3, which ranges in price from 160,000 to 180,000. Full stock arrives on these shores in March. Also, coming here in early 2014 will be the new Mazda 3. There was no shortage of hype over at the Audi stand, which is home to several RS models due here in 2014, including the RS7 Sportback. And of course, its most highly anticipated new car, the new A3 sedan, which goes on sale here in January. Making waves at the GWM stand was a 1.5 a compact urban crossover vehicle called the M4, which has great looks, good ground clearance and a lot of spec. It goes on sale within the next three months for, apparently, well under 200000 The big surprise at the Ford stand was the stylish and technologically advanced mid-size sedan, the Ford Fusion, which is headed for these shores sometime next year. Two pimped up posh rides in particular, the Jaguar XFRS and the Merc SLS AMG, provided the wow factor in spades. Both have hot paint jobs, monstrous wheels, and outrageous spoilers. And then there's Mercedes' answer to the BMW X1 and Audi Q3, the GLA, and the most appealing compact SUV it is too. It's come to gyms direct from the Frankfurt Motor Show. Over at the BMW stand, there's the baby version of the Love It or Loathe It X6, the X4. It's still in concept, guys it only goes into production next year. Also worth a look is a GWM SUV called H6, which will also go on sale next year. The show runs until next Sunday, the 27th. For East Coast Radio's Motoring Zone, this is Wendy Nola.